The first time I picked up a book to escape my life was February 6, 1992. I was laying down in an ambulance on the way to UCSF, University of California, San Francisco Hospital. This may seem a bit ambiguous to some, but to this day, I believe that the written word saved my sanity. Reading for pleasure has always been something that I've done since I was a little girl, and I couldn't get enough of. Reading Sweet Valley Twins and Sweet Valley High, Nancy Drew, and authors like Beverly Cleary, and all the fiction in between. I would read even if I had other homework that was due, but I would read for my own pleasure. But one day in February, reading became my savior. I was diagnosed with kidney disease in 1992, and my life became almost impossible. There were days I wished I was dead, and there were days I almost was. To this day, I remember the book I picked up during the two-hour ambulance ride to San Francisco, To Kill a Mockingbird, a book that one of the EMTs was reading, and I asked if I could look at it. At that moment, I didn't know that this would be the start of a wonderful relationship. It would not be until later that I could name the type of reading that saved my life. There is a very good reason that they call it escape reading, because it became an outlet that helped me distract me from my horrible torture my body was going through. Dialysis and kidney transplantation aren't a stroll through a lovely park, but more like an Iron Man with no end in sight. The words between the cover of a book became my closest companions and friends. Whether I was at UCSF looking out at the bay in Lombard Street or hospitalized at Children's Hospital Boston looking out at the beautiful city, I always had a book with me. They were my ever faithful friends and even when surrounded by my loving family, I had one. With their help, I became a pirate sailing the seven seas, a spy for Big Brother, a girl that falls down a hole, and I visited places that my mind and body needed to go. Places like the center of Earth, Verona, Italy, Bram Stoker's Transylvania, and Paris, France. These places and characters became my escape from the hospital rooms, doctor appointments, and especially the pain. The settings, characters, and plots of the books I read allowed me to escape my pain-induced world and led me to a place where I became normal again. I laughed out loud, cried, and connected with my new friends. Losing myself in a book was crucial to my survival because reading allowed me to escape which is something we all crave at different times during our lives. Reading for escapement has shown that it allows a person who might be serving jail time or surviving imprisonment during the Holocaust to more than just pass the time. They are transformed by the written word and it alleviates their current reality and makes life easier to live. Reading was more than a mere distraction, but a vigorous pursuit of creating a better world than the one I currently inhabited. In my imagination, the word on the printed page stimulated what I essentially called an altered state of consciousness, which led me out of my daily darkness to a place of light. For a few hours, reading awarded me an escape into an alternate reality, making friends with characters and visiting places that only existed in my imagination or that of the authors was my deliverance. William Shakespeare once said, courage is ten, nine is the ability to escape. This quote really embodies how reading saved me 